our authority is kind of like muddled because we're not police, but we're not security. We're in the middle. They have some debris there. That's probably from a transient camp. Chris Rouse is an officer with the Department of Public Safety. Easily cut. Like other officers with DPS, Rouse patrols the university campus with a set of limited authorities. He can stop and frisk people and arrest someone with probable cause, but unlike fully sworn officers, he can only issue certain citations and he can't carry a firearm. That may change though, if campus leaders are able to persuade Oregon lawmakers to allow a fully sworn police force on campus. Copy M, 78, service M1. Campus on motion 17 out. As Vice President of Finance and Administration, Francis Dyke oversees DPS. In some ways we can't tell the Millray story enough and in other ways maybe we tell it too much, but it occurred to me when our officers' lives were threatened when they approached some transients at, at the Mill Race area that we really needed to do something about not only the security of that area, but a way to provide the administrative support and the proper tools and staffing to protect our officers who are here to protect us. Francis Dyke is referring to a March 2006 incident in which two public safety officers were almost drowned by an assailant. One of those officers is Chris Rouse. Every officer's first duty is to go home alive at the end of the shift, period. Be advised when you're out in front of the station. Well, working with uh, the public safety staff and directors and also looking at what our peer institutions were, it became pretty obvious that we had some opportunities to better meet the, meet the needs of the campus. The Oregon State Board of Higher Education has approved a legislative proposal that outlines a new campus police authority statute that would allow one or more institutions under its umbrella to employ state certified police officers. But there's one more step to go, which is to have the authority to create our own agency. Had Rouse and his colleague been part of a fully sworn police force during the Millrace incident, the events that transpired and the resulting investigation might have played out differently. There would have still been the attempted murder charges but there would also be assault on a public safety officer, uh, resisting arrest. Uh, I'd say the tools on our tool belt would be different also. There'd be a firearm. But again, a firearm doesn't make you a police officer. It's just another tool on your tool belt. Uh, ultimately, it's the authority given to you by the state, city, you know, county, city, state. Similar bills to create Oregon campus police forces have been brought to the Senate in the past, but they were voted down. However, this is the first time that University of Oregon officials have voiced support. It's also the first time that Senator Floyd Przanski has supported a campus police force. I've told uh, the university at this point I'm willing to support it based on changes that have occurred. Uh, and that goes from leadership at the, uh, in, within the administration as well as and probably as important at the uh, Department of Public Safety. I think it's time for a discussion, and I'm ready to take it to the next level. I wasn't ready to take it to this next level because I didn't think the university had committed the resources or had the people, the personnel that was necessary to, uh, to bring the discussion forward. And that's where we're at. Though a formal bill has yet to be drafted, one will likely be brought to the Oregon State Legislature in January. If it passes and the statute is changed, the cost of campus policing may change too. DPS estimates that each fully sworn officer would cost between $85,000 and $90,000 a year. A public safety officer costs an average of $65,313 a year. If the bill doesn't pass, the university will continue to be an exception to campus policing nationwide. 74% of the U.S.'s four-year colleges with at least 2,500 students have sworn law officers on campus. And out of the Pac-10, only Oregon and Oregon State lack university police forces. Though other campuses have adopted sworn officers, the movement to bring them to the University of Oregon has faced some opposition from the student body. ASUO President Amelie Rousseau says she's hesitant to support a campus police force because of what she perceives to be a possible lack of oversight. 
one issue that um, students are having is that um, if this was implemented, there would be no oversight by faculty and students or anyone in the community. Um, and that's something that the Eugene Police Department has. They have um, a citizens review board, they have a police commission, things that kind of are, add some checks and balances to the process. Rousseau also says that past incidents with the Eugene Police Department and university students also play a factor. Given um, the recent number of um, attacks against students with tasers um, and other things that um, the Eugene Police Department um, has done, in my eyes, negatively against students um, is something that's really concerning to a lot of people and a lot of people are wary of bringing that kind of um, environment onto campus. If a community wants to have uh, some security and it chooses to employ a police department or a security workforce to provide that security, the community, whether it's um, a municipality like ours or a university like the University of Oregon, uh, must know that that workforce will have to use force in order to maintain safety. That is a, that's just a truism. There's no getting around that. Whether or not the campus police officers will be armed is a decision yet to be made by university leadership, the State Board of Higher Education, and the Chancellor. But it's different for everybody because everybody's a different definition of what safe means to them. And so that's kind of why this is a really complex issue. And I, I just encourage students to really think about what safe means to them. University officials have also stated that should the legislation pass, the transition would be gradual and there would be a hybrid force of fully sworn officers and security officers on campus. Hey guys. This is a, a campus of higher education, higher learning, expanding the mind to the greatest potential ever. Um, and it's, you know, it's just the beginning of the higher learning. Um, and so we're here to make sure that they're safe and secure. It's a huge responsibility.